Hello everyone, this is Renan from developersoapbox.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, create a Spring project in IntelliJ Community Edition. So if you're familiar with IntelliJ, you know that they have uh, two editions. They have Community, which is what we're going to be using today, and that is their free and open source edition. But if you notice here, if you're going to be doing any type of Spring or JEE development, um, they actually say that you need the Ultimate Edition, which at least at the time of shooting this video costs about uh, $500 a year. So the, the trick here is if you're going to be using Spring Boot for your next Spring project, which I highly recommend that you do, then uh, you're very much in luck. And the reason for that is uh, Spring Boot generates a JAR file and it, it in itself is simply a Maven or Gradle project, depending on your preference, right? So you don't need any of the um, special features provided by Ultimate because again, it's just you're, you're simply generating a jar file. And as you can see here, Maven and Gradle are supported by the Community Edition. So the very first thing we need to do is create our Spring project, and we're gonna do that using um, the Spring Initializer, which is just a Spring Boot project generator uh, created and maintained by the Spring team. So if you just go to start.spring.io, and here, um, you, like I mentioned, you can create either a Maven or a Gradle project. Um, they even allow you to select other JDK, JDK languages. I'll stay with Java and Maven since that's what I'm familiar with. Um, you can put your group name for your Maven project, your artifact name, I'll just leave those as is. And here you would just specify any, the, essentially the type of project you would want to create. Um, if, you, if you're not too familiar with this site and you need to switch to the full version, if you, you can just click here and then it'll show you all the available dependencies. Right, so if you need a JPA project, you select that. Um, if you need time leaf for your templates, you can select that, and so on. But since I'm just going to create a very simple project, I'm just going to do web to create a Spring MVC project with uh, embedded Tomcat uh, container. And I'm just going to click Generate Project. And that, so that basically generates a project uh, and downloads it as a zip file. If I go into my downloads folder, there's my zip file. I'm just going to extract it here. Okay, and there's my project. So now if I open IntelliJ, and as you can see, it's Community Edition. Okay, if you go to Import Project, find the directory that we just extracted. Okay, here, uh, import project from external model. You will either select Gradle or Maven, depending on what type of um, Spring Boot project you created. Uh, I did a, a Maven project, so I'll select Maven. Next, I'll keep all the defaults for this. Next, next. Uh, that's just your JDK version. I'll click Next. And there's your project name. I'll just click Finish. And now it's just importing all my files, setting up the project. Okay. So if we go into Source, Main, Java, there's my main application file. So if I just run this, there we have it. So we basically have a running Spring application, as you can see. Um, you know, again, we we use uh, Community Edition, uh, which is completely free. As you can see, it initialized my Tomcat embedded server container. So 
uh, there we have it so if you like this video uh, please click the like and subscribe uh, button this is actually my very first video so if you like it uh, please just let me know and um, I'll definitely make more um, if you don't like it and have any suggestions please let me know as well um, I'll be happy to make any type of improvements and also if you want kind of step-by-step -step instructions uh, this video is actually a blog post on my website developersoapbox.com so uh, feel free to check that out as well thank you very much